what's going on you guys and right here we got some uh information about a new map pack that's coming out actually two new map packs that are coming out on august 9th and they are uh called uh collection three is going to be the chaos map pack and then collection four is the final assault map pack so i found a tweet from uh the makers of call of duty on twitter and as you can see from the screen it says that um there is going to be new map packs and I clicked on the link and I got these uh, photos and actually descriptions of the maps and also there's going to be spec ops missions and new maps that are coming out and uh, so let's go ahead and get started and start showing off the new map packs. Alright so the new the first map pack we're going to go and talk about is the collection 3 chaos pack and which comes out with a new mode called special ops chaos mode. Let's go ahead and read the description for that. It says, A whole new way to play Call of Duty, Special Ops Chaos Mode delivers the ultimate in arcade mayhem. Experience truly heart-pounding and adrenaline-fueled action while competing for high scores in Resistance, Village, Underground, and Dome. Chain kills together against a never-ending onslaught of enemies to increase your combo multiplier and earn performance enchanting perks. Choose your route through each map to optimize weapon pickups, attack, and escape options. Play solo, split screen, or online with a friend to destroy as many enemies as possible before they take you down or the clock hits zero. So that sounds very interesting and I, I believe some people, uh, maybe a lot of people might like that. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and go on to the other spe special ops missions. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the first Special Ops missions. And the first one is Arctic Recon. We're going to go ahead and give you a little screenshot. Uh, for a few seconds, you can go ahead and pause the video and get a good look of it. It looks pretty it looks pretty badass. The scenery looks amazing. So let's go ahead and read the description. It says, Arctic Recon. Battle across a massive battleship in Arctic Recon with one player on ground and other controlling a weaponized recon drone. So it's sort of like uh, it's sort of like a co-op mission for uh, for two players, and um, it's similar to the one on I believe uh, Model for Two. Uh, yeah, it, it's similar to one on there. I, I forgot what the name was, but it, it was pretty it was pretty good, and uh, it, it was a lot of fun. So they're bringing back some uh, some spec ops missions like similarities spec spec ops missions from Modern Warfare 2 into Modern Warfare 3 so that's interesting let's go ahead and move on to the next map pack not map pack the new map all right so let's go ahead and talk about another map that is being introduced is called Vertigo and I'm just gonna let you see the picture for a while you can always pause the video and look at it yourself uh, so let's go ahead and read the description it says, fight for your survival on a Dubai, or something like that, I can't pronounce that word, sorry. Uh, hotel rooftop in Vertigo. Work together to blast waves of enemy helicopters while avoiding ground forces and juggernauts in a close quarters arena. So, wow, so this is basically survival mode, except you get a new map. So, if you like survival mode, then this is your kind of map pack, because, um... You get new a new map, so you don't have to buy any more map packs, and also you get a new map, so that's pretty good for you. So if you like if you like uh, special ops maps, and you want to go ahead and check that out, and you like survival, uh, so go ahead and get that map pack, cause that sounds like the map pack for you. So let's go ahead and move on to the next map, and let's go. All right, so the new another new map is uh, called light em up and I'll let you capture the scenery again because I'm nice like that and I'll give you two seconds one two okay there you're done you can always pause the video by the way so let's go ahead and read the description for light em up it says infiltrate Macrops castle in the dead of the n dead of night and light em up using blinding flashlights to stun the opposition while searching for a captured VIP so uh, that map is basically a rescue mission, and if you like rescue missions like I do, uh, I might be able to, I might get this map pack, because, uh, why not? Why not? Just get every map pack. Uh, not promoting Treyarch or anything. Uh, I, 
you know, just get every map pack. Might as well. If they come with new maps, you 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 might as well get them because, you know, the more because people say that it's dead, like Call of Duty is dead apparently, uh, but they keep coming out with new map packs like every month. So you know, it's it's not dead. It's, they're gonna keep coming out with new stuff. So uh, might as well get it because you know, new stuff and new new uh, creations are being made. So might as well get it. So let's go ahead and move on to the next map on this pack. Alright, now the next one is called Special Delivery. And let's go ahead and let you guys watch the preview uh, for a few seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. You can always pause the video again. So let's go ahead and read the description of Special Delivery. Now it says, Rescue a downed ally flight crew in special delivery pairing up with one player on the ground and another in a helicopter equipped with gunfire and care packages so uh this this one is sort of sort of similar to let's see which one i think it's uh it's called yeah arctic recon so they're similar um so yeah they're bringing back a lot of you know rescue missions and that sort of stuff and co-op missions because they want you to play with their friends so anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the face-off maps, which uh, I know some people will be very delighted to hear about, and let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so now moving on to the face-off maps, uh, the new one is called Vortex, and let's go ahead and let you look at the pretty little picture. Uh, you can see from the background there's like a tornado or something. So yeah, memorize the picture, pause the video if you have to. Uh, so let's go ahead and read the description for Vortex. Now it says, No storm shelter can keep you safe in Vortex, placing teams just outside the danger zone of a devastating tornado. So this one, I have no idea what this one could, you know, possibly... I don't know, this one's sort of interesting. I, I, I don't know. Because, what, are you supposed to shoot a tornado or something? Uh, <laughs> I don't really get it, but I, I think they, they've they got a good story on that map, on Vortex, so uh, if you like, uh, sort of like a mystery, I guess, if you want to find out what, what's so appealing about Vortex, then go ahead and purchase the map pack, and let's go ahead and move on to the new, to the other <laughs> face-off map. Alright, so now moving on to the, uh, another new face-off map, it's called U-Turn, and let's go ahead and let you guys look at the pretty picture the guy shooting a, a, a gun that's on fire shooting flames or whatever uh, so that's pretty much enough time so let's go ahead and read the description and it says a bombed out gridlocked highway provides a perfect backdrop for combatants on u-turn where oil fields burn black above abandoned cars buses and multiple paths of attack so i'm guessing you're defending yourselves against this uh rubble uh by a highway or something and you have to defend yourselves for, uh, I guess, uh, unlimited waves and see who, how long you guys can survive. So that one's interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a face-off map. Never mind. So, oh, yeah, this one's going to be interesting. There's a whole bunch of rubble. It's destroyed and everything. And you have to sort of make your way around. And yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, feel I'm feeling this one. Okay, I, li I like this map. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the other new map map pack all right so now another face off map is called intersection and it's going to let you guys look at the picture the pretty little picture uh, for two seconds one two all right so let's go ahead and read the description it says downtown manhattan pro provides the backdrop for intersection where a tightly packed two block battle zone allows players to fight on first and second floors of surrounding buildings now i believe i, I believe intersection is uh, another map from another game i'm not sure uh which game i think it's world at war i'm, I'm pretty sure because uh it was one of the map packs that they had but anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next map pack actual map pack not the map uh final assault so let's go ahead and move on to that all right so now the new uh map pack which is final assault collection for final assault 
and that map pack will be available on September 6th for Xbox 360 users and also with the Chaos map pack that will be available on uh, August 9th for public and it will be coming out on Tuesday on August 7th for Elite members so memorize those dates if you're an Elite member you get it two days earlier than the whole public uh, so yeah so those are the dates for Xbox I'm not sure PS3 it's most likely a month cuz it, it always it always is so now final assault we are going to start off with the multiplayer maps and let's go ahead and get these started alright so now let's go ahead and talk about some multiplayer maps that are coming out in final assault now the first one is decommissioned and let's go ahead and give you guys the preview for a few seconds one two three all right so now let's go ahead and read the description for decommission a nautical graveyard gives birth to a sprawling shanty town in decommission a mid-sized multiplayer map populated with choke points and fortifications so this map sounds like one of the maps that I would like because I would like to uh, rush in mid-sized maps because you know rushing is sort of my thing and I just love killing people and if there's anything you guys want to know about me or that should know about me is that I love killing people killing people is my thing so anyways let's go ahead and move on to another multiplayer map pack or map sorry I keep saying map pack for some reason so let's go ahead and move on to another map Alright, so now another multiplayer map is called Offshore, and let's go ahead and let you guys look at the preview for a few seconds. One, two, three, and done. So let's go ahead and read the description for this bad boy. Alright, it says, An offshore oil rig spreads combat across three platforms in offshore, leading to skirmishes at every turn. Multiple in-connecting bridges, cramped indoor locations and frequent stairwells constantly challenge navigation throughout so this one is sort of like sub base in uh in whatchamacallit in modern Warfare 2 sorry i forgot for a second so this one's very similar except this one is actually on like on, on a ship so uh i want to see how they plan on pulling this one off and i'd be really interested in seeing that but anyways let's go ahead and move on to more multiplayer maps Alright, so another multiplayer map in Final Assault is called Gulch, and this one's a desert map. And let's go ahead and let you capture the scenery of the picture real quick for a few seconds. One, two, three, and done. So let's go ahead and read the description for this bad boy. It says, Dedicates after fires charred this forgotten mining town, the Red Rock Canyon gains new shades of red in Gulch where the surrounding mountains, mine shafts, and equipment sheds craft a perfect setting for high tension combat. So this one is, I'm not sure if there actually, yeah, I don't think there actually was a desert map before. So this one, I want to see how this, how they pull this one off too. Because uh, I don't think we've ever seen a desert map other than rust, because, well, that didn't really count, you know. It was just a bunch of sand. But I guess it does count in a way. So I wonder how they pulled this one off since it's not like, near a building it's just like an old abandoned town so anyways let's go ahead and move on to another uh multiplayer map pack map sorry gosh i keep saying map pack all right so now on a new multiplayer map is called boardwalk and this one's similar to the black ops black ops map uh drive-in and it does look fairly similar so let's go ahead and let you guys capture the image and see the resemblance uh, it sort of looks familiar to me. So let's go ahead and read the description for Boardwalk now. It says, Head to Jersey Coast for a sunny afternoon in Boardwalk, where you'll face your enemies on, a, on the beach and fight for dominance at the arcade while still finding time to cut line at the roller coaster. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. <laughs> so it's actually a roller coaster roller coaster theme park I guess in a way so it, it is similar to drive by uh, just because the the buildings and the colors and all that sort of stuff that nobody cares about uh, I, I don't know I just see the resemblance in a way so anyways that one is 
to me, it seems like a recreation of Drive-In. So I, I like Drive-In too. So uh, I might like that map. So let's go ahead and move on to I think which is our final map. And yes, it is. This is our final map. And let's go ahead and start discussing it. All right. So now to our final multiplayer map for Final Assault. It's called Parish. And let's go ahead and give you guys some time to uh, look at the scenery and stuffs. Give you a few seconds. One, two, three, and done. So now let's leave the. Let's go ahead and read the last and final map uh, for Final Assault. Let's go ahead and get this started. It says, "Wishful thinking won't keep you safe in New Orleans' war-torn French Quarter in Parish, where a local." bombed out church plays host to close quarters combat admits admits the city's rubble so this one is sort of like an olden older times sort of map and uh i i can see you can get inside or not inside uh you can get on the second story buildings too and you can walk around and yeah okay yeah i see some ladders and you can climb up them and you can sort of flank the other team in in one of those tunnels that you see in the picture. Uh, you might you not you might not be able to see this, but I I can. So, anyways, you guys, this is pretty much the end of the map packs that are coming out on. Let's see, it says available September 6th for Final Assault, and for the Chaos map pack, it is coming out August 7th for elite members so if you're not elite members then it's not coming out for you until August 9th so August 9th it's coming out for the whole public so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, this sort of uh, warning I guess in a way or sort of informing you guys about the new map packs and their descriptions and whatnot and I hope you guys I hope this helps you guys decide whether you want the map packs or not so I hope you guys enjoyed this and make sure to leave a like because this did take quite a while to make about two hours and I'll see you guys later make sure to follow me on Twitter in the description there's always a link to my Facebook and Twitter in the description below and anyways uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go and I'll see you guys in whatever episode I make next and I'll see you guys later see ya